and then that one will go like that, and that one will go like that. So the next time we go out somewhere, this will come with me. And I can have a break. You can do whatever you want. But a close-up lens. Absolutely brilliant. So it's all the camera and the lens. Yeah, it'll hold up to me 300. How it started originally was I used to be a landlady, and I asked a question in the pub, what do you do with your photos on your mobile phones? And everybody went, nothing. So I ran a competition, we had a theme every month, and the winner would get £10. Then while we were at the pub, the chatter came about about starting a group outside the pub. And we don't care what camera you've got, we don't use a phone, we don't care if it's film, we don't, we don't care. We just, we want to, if you're interested in taking pictures, we're interested in taking pictures. I enjoy a decent photograph that draws me into it, that has got some definition to it. Uh, clarity, character, which makes it enjoyable for everybody. It is a hobby, and it's a hobby that gets me out and about and gets me out in the countryside. Otherwise, I probably could end up a couch potato. Sometimes we have topics, don't we? Yeah. And that was my topic for decay. Yeah. And then I had a, we had another one that was orange, yeah. and that was my topic for orange. I've used infrared to take the photos, so you get. A very different contrast. Of, yes, yeah. uh, I like mundane things, but then you take a photo of it and it looks interesting. I was 10 when I had my first dog, so I've had a dog for 56 years, various breeds, but the ones I've got now, the Akitas, which are on here, they're one of the five pure breeds. So they're very aloof, but they watch everything. Now this, to some people may think, what's she done there? But this is the mayhem of school parking. Yes. Where I live. Mm. And as you can see, they park everywhere. And it, it's just a nightmare. I left the window there so that people could actually see that I'm taking it through the window. And that's also taken from my back bedroom window. And I called that Spond and Turbine Sunset.